Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. How's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the Corporate Development Manager of Neo Battery Materials, Danny Huh. How are you doing today, Danny? Very good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Very excited to speak to you today. And so everyone knows the symbol for Neo Battery Materials in Canada is NBM. And in America, it's NBMFF. And my first question, Danny, is for those that are new to Neo Battery Materials, could you give us a brief overview of what the company is currently developing within the EV lithium ion battery industry? Yes, yeah, so Neo, at Neo Battery Materials, we're currently developing a novel technology called silicon anode materials. And as many may know, uh, graphite is used as a main anode material for all lithium ion batteries today. Uh, but this contributes to some fundamental problems such as uh, slow charging and a limited runtime for the battery as well as increased costs due to the inflationary environment. And adding silicon into the nanomaterial effectively alleviates these problems. And currently the industry regards this material as a must have uh, for the next generation of batteries. Uh, but what sets apart Neo from our competitors is our proprietary single step nanocoating manufacturing process and our products that use the lowest cost silicon inputs. So this makes us one of the lowest cost high performance producers on the global scale so far. And recently we received the construction permit approval of our South Korean commercial plant that will be initially capable of producing 240 tons, which is equivalent to supplying to about 160,000 EVs initially. And we have a clear roadmap to commercialization and we are currently expediting this process by fortifying our technical team and optimizing our products with NDA partners, which include global battery manufacturers, as well as EV automakers as well. That's fantastic. And huge news on Monday. It was announced on Monday that Dr. S.G. Kim has been appointed as the Chief Technology Officer of NEO. Could you give us an introduction to Dr. Kim and explain how much of an important role he will play? Yes. So NEO has appointed Dr. S.G. Kim as our Chief Technology Officer, and he's an expert in chemical technology development and products related to NEO in which we're developing, which includes uh, silicon and polymers as well. Uh, previously, he served as the Executive Vice President and Head of R&D of Hano Solutions in the Advanced Materials Division. And Hano Solutions is the chemical manufacturing company of the South Korean conglomerate Hano Group. Hano Solutions have been able to generate sales of over about $10 billion and currently trades at a market cap of $8 billion. Uh, Dr. Kim has had experience from new chemical product development uh, to, com uh, to commercial plant constructions as well. And during his tenure at Hanwha, he has shown his capacity to nearly double uh, new product sales and successfully complete uh, numerous projects for global automotive, aerospace, and electronics companies as well. And he has also had experience closing m and deals that boosted further integrated uh, growth for the company as well. Uh, so Dr. Kim has also served uh, positions as the global R&D head of Momentive Performance Materials which is the globally second largest manufacturer of silicon-based products. And his other previous experiences include the Dow Chemical Company, LG Innotech, and Samsung Fine Chemicals. And he received his PhD in chemical engineering and applied chemistry from the University of Toronto, which is not far from us. Uh, that being said, we are more than excited to have Dr. Kim join us in our commercialization journey. And based on his decades of R&D experience, he understands the potential and promise of neo silicon anode materials and how our products can sort of pr produce a transforming effect uh, on the industry once it is commercialized. So to get that transforming effect, uh, in effect, uh, Dr. Kim has already started working with Neo's R&D team to accelerate efforts with product optimization so that we can continue to make deals on the table with global players. And also using Dr. Kim's super extensive network in the chemical business and R&D space uh, Neo is set to look out on other value enhancing as well as growth opportunities uh, as well. Congratulations. That is a huge acquisition. Building the team is extremely important to building a company. 
And another piece of news, in the past week, we've seen Neo sign a letter of intent with a top U.S. university spin-out company that is developing a unique high-performance technology that will be key for advanced batteries. Could you give us a highlight of your developments? Uh, yes. So Neo has indeed signed an LOI with an unnamed spin-out company from one of the top-ranking U.S. universities and institutions. And this company is currently focusing on developing one of the most robust, durable, and safe polymer electrolytes for lithium-ion batteries. So polymer electrolytes is a new type of material that is quickly gaining popularity as they are recognized to generate long run times for the battery. And plus, because they are non-flammable, uh, they're viewed as one of the must-have materials in the next generation of batteries. So moving on to sort of like the purpose of the collaboration, uh, both companies are jointly seeking to enhance the performance of neosilicon nanomaterials through the spin-outs uh, novel technology of the polymer electrolytes. So what the polymer electrolytes do is that because of the mechanical durability characteristics, uh, it may be able to effectively control the volume expansion of silicon uh, during the charging times of the battery. So after preliminary evaluation, we are expecting to advance our relationship with a new agreement uh, to expand our development efforts for both EV batteries and other energy storage applications as well. That sounds huge. Congratulations on all of your developments. And to wrap things up, what can investors expect to hear in the near future with regards to business and technology developments? So as we have discussed today, uh, Neo Battery Materials is making great strides in advancements in both technology, corporate developments, and R&D expertise as well. And with Dr. Kim on board, our team is more than confident and excited to take our technology to the next phase of commercialization. Uh, our synergistic relationship with our NDA partners have been very highly positive as we have been able to increase the cycling performance of our silicon atom materials which means a longer run time of the battery, which will accelerate uh, the mass adoption of EVs in the coming years. And again, as I mentioned before on our interviews, uh, we are aiming to satisfy the performance levels and specifications asked by these NDA partners. And once these are satisfied, we can expect a joint development and collaboration agreements that will hint signals uh, for commercialization as well. And in terms of business, we have recently held our AGM and special meeting in which the change of business into a technology issuer was approved, as well as continuing our business out of BC into Ontario. So once this process gets completed, we are eyeing grants and other non dilutive funding offered by the Ontario government, as well as technology-focused organizations, which include engine manufacturing. Uh, and we'll apply this with our collaboration partners, such as NanoReal. And we hope to bring positive news and developments soon to our investors and the public, and we also hope everyone is excited for our commercialization journey as well. Well, I know we're very excited about your commercialization journey. Thank you for joining us today. The Corporate Development Manager of Neo Battery Materials, Danny Ha. Huh? And Danny, you know what? You guys are doing a great job. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. In saying that, I believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, seems to be doing everything that we look for in a company that has a chance to have a huge, huge success story. And thank you for joining us today, Danny. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Danny Ha, Corporate Development Manager, Neo Battery Materials. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners. We bring you the news, CO interviews, and we love to bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a great day.